it's watering day and as I have all these seedlings out here I decided it'd be perfect time to do a tour so I'm gonna go through and tell you what I've got growing here in all these seedling trays coming over here I have some older seedlings that I started in mid-July these are all snapdragons and then parsley I have seven or eight parsley plants going and these guys are looking a touch pale but I just up potted them Friday and this is Monday so I think they're gonna do a lot better as they get settled into this new fertilizer enriched potting soil the types of snapdragons I'm growing are the tall deluxe blend from you know Lowe's Home Depot I think it's Fairy Morse and then apple blossom blend uh, from in my gardener in between the two, last spring, I had the most gorgeous bouquet varieties. So another seedling tray that I did the same day, mid-July, there are these guys. It is a combination of Swiss chard, which is new to me. I'm growing a rainbow variety from Botanical Interests. Some chamomile, more Swiss chard, and then I have a neat one, these Alabama collards, which are a little bit fuzzy. I've never grown them before. They're so cute. I think it'll be nice and different from my Georgia Southern collards that I grew last year. And then I have a Baker Creek free seed influence moment. The Chijimasi, I believe is how they're called. It's a, it's a cold hardy Asian style green that I think is a lot easier to germinate than spinach and I, I think I'm going to be cooking it a lot like I would cook spinach. Now moving over to this younger seedling cell. I actually have just this inner row planted in that one random kale. This is all kale and my germination is not amazing. Some of them are purple so they're not very prominent on camera here. But it's just a variety of kale where I've got scarlet kale, I've got red Russian kale, and then I've got the classic blue curled scotch. And so you can see these are just babies. They don't even have their first adult leaves yet. On the same day, I sowed all of this flat. This is primarily kale, lacinato, dazzling blue, but I also have some Georgia Southern collards because my sister gave me the seeds and saved my summer. And then I have some parsley and cilantro up here, slow bolt cilantro. And then I have some tetra dill and bouquet dill because I want to put up some dill. Last year, my main dill harvest was in December. That's just when it worked out best for my garden. I have some more Swiss chard because I was worried I didn't have enough. <laughs> and then these little bitty guys are snapdragons. That is how small they start off. And you just trust the process, leave them alone, and they get to be the size of those over there in just a month. Less than that, it's crazy. Okay, in this big flat here, I have a bunch of beets transplanting, sorry the mosquitoes are going after me, transplanting beets worked so well for me in the spring. So I have some golden beets, some Detroit red beets, and I have chiogia because those actually worked really well for me in the spring. The golden ones are going to be new. This little tray here is just some more snapdragons, same varieties as earlier, but you see some of them are nice and big. I hope to be transplanting those flowers out six to eight weeks before last frost. First frost, I mean. Now this tray is from mid-July. I up-potted them Friday, and they're looking a little bit a little bit pale, so I, this is the only one that's getting some fertilizer today, because some of these kale are, um, or Alabama collards are looking pale. I'm double checking that's what these are. You can see I reused these cups. Oh, I forgot, these are my broccoli. See how, broccoli is not a high priority for me right now. <laughs> but I did start some. I've got de, chi, de chicho, de ciso, forgive me. And I've got waltham, broccoli started. That's what these taller ones are. But I do have more of those collards. These are some Alabama collards little bit older very cool looking these little guys are in my gardener red vein sorrel or bloody dock and the color is just 
really nice. I'm enjoying looking at these. I hear they have a good lemony flavor. Now for my warm season seedlings. I have a bunch of flowers ready to go. I was trying to get this all summer, but I was using some bad soil. So my, my DIY potting blend did not work out. This is just some potting soil that I bought and we are just miles ahead of where I was. These guys germinated outside and have grown outside. So I have one more cucumber transplant, probably my last of the year. It's a um, homemade pickle variety from Botanical Interest. I just planted two of these in the garden recently. I have some golden beets because these are, an, I think they're like a 90 day variety or something crazy. So these are the first round. You can see I've got some true leaves forming. I probably need to plant these soon because they are actually maturing. Coming back this way, I have more beets. Something is chewing on them. But then I also have some zinnia. I did not get enough zinnia this year, so I am fighting to the end to get some zinnia. I have some Oklahoma mix, some state fair. This is a state fair. Nice big bloom. Some of them are double. These guys are kind of skinny. I think they're, what are you? These are Persian carpet. These are gonna be smaller, more petite, and more fall colored. And then I have some marigolds because it just wasn't a good marigold year. I had too good of a marigold year last year and I got overconfident. I think these are my Cracker Jack. Oh, these are Kilimanjaro. These are going to be white. But a lot of these back here are Cracker Jack marigolds. They're going to be really big. And I think I have enough time still. Something is shredding this zinnia up. <gasps> There's a caterpillar. I have to get him. I'll get him. I'm almost done. I'll fight that battle. But these little flowers are just going to be tucked around the garden as holes come up, which, uh, you know, it's that time of year where things are getting pulled out. So thank you for watching my seedling tour. I just wanted to come out here, film what I've got here August the 8th. Otherwise, I just wasn't going to do it. It's that time of the season where I'm just getting a little worn out. And I just keep telling myself the fall garden is easier and I'm going to be so grateful when I'm just picking bunches and bunches of kale and parsley and dill and I have snapdragons rolling in the spring that I haven't touched in months. It's going to be easy. It's going to be worth it. I just need to keep these guys alive. <laughs> Please subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned for other updates on how the fall garden is going.